Welcome back to the Barbecue Lab. I'm David, this is Melissa, and today we're gonna to teach you how to make our favorite barbecue sauce. All right, I don't know about you, but we have a lot of favorite barbecue sauces that we have in bottles that we can pick up at the store. But one of our personal favorites is one we make right here at home. And today we wanna to teach you how to make a barbecue sauce of your own, all right? So this is what we call our favorite barbecue sauce here at the Barbecue Lab. And we wanna teach you how to make it from scratch. Now, a lot of barbecue sauces will start with a base of a couple cups of ketchup, but we're even gonna go further back than that. We're gonna start with some basic tomato products and we're gonna create this barbecue sauce completely from scratch. So Melissa, tell me a little bit about what we're gonna be using here. All right, so we have one can of tomato sauce, a can of tomato paste, and then we're going to add to that um, some apple cider vinegar, some apple juice, some brown sugar, a little bit of grape jelly, uh, lemon juice, Worcestershire sauce, salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, chili powder, and smoked paprika. All right, so it seems like a lot of ingredients. I mean, we're talking about 14 ingredients all in all, right? So <clears throat> the idea is we're going to put these together and show you how this is going to come together in a gorgeous sauce. So let's go ahead and put these together and we'll show you what it looks like here on the stove. All right, so we have the sauce on the stove and we're really wanting to do what to it now, Melissa? Well, we're gonna bring it up to temperature, let um, some of those more sugary ingredients like the grape jelly, the brown sugar, really kind of dissolve into the liquids. And we're gonna let it simmer for uh, 15, 20 minutes on a medium low heat. And the goal is just to let this reduce down and concentrate the flavors, right? Yeah. Okay, so we'll check back in here in about 15 minutes. You can see how much it's reduced down. All right, so we've reduced the sauce down for 15 minutes and we've got it to the point where if you take a spoon, it'll coat the back of the spoon pretty well. And so we're getting a thicker sauce, which is exactly what we're looking for in this. And this is the sauce that we love making around here. So what we're gonna do is it's smoking hot right now. I don't know if you can see the steam rising off the top, but we need to let this cool so we can actually get it into a jar or some kind of a serving, uh, serving apparatus. So we're just gonna let this sit and cool for a few minutes. Then we can taste it and tell you what it tastes like. All right, so we've had the sauce off of the stove for about 15 or 20 minutes and let it cool. And we've transferred it into this uh, measuring cup. So you can see that the sauce really makes about 16 ounces in our recipe here. So um, even though it started to cool down, it's not completely cooled down yet, but it's cool enough that we can give it a, give it a try. So are you ready? Mm -hmm. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Yeah, for me, I taste, when those flavors come together, it's got a real tang to it. It's got some zest to it. You can taste a little bit of that vinegar, that apple cider vinegar that's on that's on the, the top of the recipe. And just a tiny hint of the, the grape jelly in the background. Yeah, that's the that extra sweetness, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so the thing is we've noticed is that once you make this, it doesn't taste the exact same right now as it will tomorrow, right? Yeah, it tastes great right now. But um, as it has a day to kind of sit and the flavors can marry in their fridge overnight, tomorrow it'll taste even better. And so what, what are some of the things that we use this on? I mean, this is our favorite barbecue sauce around here. So mm -hmm. what are some of the things that you, you use it on all the time? Um, we put this in our baked beans. We put it on our meatloaf. I know that we put this on chicken. We put this on, um, it's, it's one of those like, like a topping sauce or even a glaze sauce. If you wanna be able to take this and put it on at the end of a cook, it glazes really, really well. 
And so I call this kind of an all-purpose barbecue mm -hmm. sauce. Now, remember, we didn't start with ketchup. We started with base tomato products with the real idea of this being a homemade barbecue mm -hmm. sauce. So I think you should try this at home. If you have never made your own barbecue sauce, start with this one. Let this be your starter recipe, and then you can alter the ingredients as you see fit if you want it spicier, if you want it sweeter. But this should be a good base recipe for you to get a sauce that you can call your own, all right? So I want to say thanks for joining us here today at the Barbecue Lab. And remember, we put this channel together for you. Our whole purpose in doing this is to make you better at cooking in the backyard, cooking outside, amazing your friends and loved ones. And so hopefully you can take this and make this recipe your own and delight your friends and neighbors. So if you like what you saw here today, make sure you subscribe to the channel and go ahead and ring that bell so you get notified when we put out new videos each and every week. Our goal is one or two videos a week to help you become better at being a pit master. So I'm David and this is Melissa. Thanks for joining us in the Barbecue Lab. We look forward to seeing you next time right here.